If you're like me, you've probably struggled to control the appearances of imported models in Fusion 360. In this quick tip, I wanted to show you some strategies I recently employed to clean up this drone that was a part of the composite connector quick tip. So let's get to our appearance dialog by hitting the A key on our keyboard. The first thing you might note is this extensive list of appearances that are considered to be in this design. The reason I'm skeptical is that there appears to be maybe five or six on visual inspection, but the list is much longer than that. Anyway, the good news is that these false positives are easy to clean up by right clicking in the white space and selecting the option to delete all unused. When I do so, this list gets much more manageable, but still has some questionable colors here. The next thing I might wanna do is understand where these appearances are used. So I'll go to this orange item, right click it, then select objects it's been applied to by using the third item in the list. Surprisingly, when I do this, it only gets the item in the center hub and not the spinner or motor pieces. So it would seem that there's some sort of mix up here. I'm not even sure how that happens, but it did in this case, and to fix that, you could do this. Drag and drop the appearance you want to use on top of it. When you do so, it now lets you control the appearances of all the orange parts from this one item. But sometimes it's just easier to blow it away and start fresh. If you want to do this, we'll just need to use another option, unassign and delete. So I'll do this a couple times, but another thing happens. Other appearances show up, which doesn't make sense at first, until we try to remove one of these appearances. When I try to remove this wood material, it becomes clear why they were showing up and why the body took on the new appearance. It's tied to the physical material. To change this, we can go to the physical material dialog from the modify dropdown, and here you can see the physical materials that were applied. Although it looks to be carbon fiber, the majority of these parts are defined as steel, which comes from the default material. And for that cherry wood, full disclosure, I planted that to make this point more clearly. Anyway, these can be removed, but every part has to have a physical material, which will default to whatever you have to find in your preferences. Back in the appearance list, the cherry wood here is not applied anymore, so we can again use the delete unused to clear it. We'll drag and drop this orange material on the other colors in this list now, before leaving you with info on how to make advanced edits and adding or removing colors from your favorites lists. To edit is simple. Just select the option from the menu, which opens up endless controls for color, roughness, reflectance, and as you get into the advanced section, you'll find translucency, emissivity, relief or bump patterns, and so on. And if you spend all that time customizing it, make sure to copy it to your appearances or to add it to your favorites list. And if your tastes have changed, you can always remove it at a later time. Anyway, that's a start. I'll bet you have other questions or comments, which I invite you to use the comment section below or forum to communicate with us. I know that in making this, 10 new questions arose that I hope to get to the bottom of and address in a later tip. Cheers.